In Ireland, we are very lucky to have such lush green grass. Because of this, farmers can let their cows go out into the fields to eat grass for most of the year, except when the weather is very cold in the winter. Does anybody know how often cows are milked? Uh, about five times a week. In the morning, in the afternoon and in the evening. Maybe every day and night. Cows are milked twice a day. The milk is immediately stored at a very cold temperature in a milk tank on the farm. About every two days, the local dairy will collect milk from the farm in a refrigerated milk tanker, which also keeps the milk cold. Samples of the milk are tested to make sure it is pure and that it is good quality. The milk we buy to drink or put in our cereals is known as fresh milk in Ireland. It has been pasteurised to protect it and packaged into different carton sizes. Big or small, normal whole milk or low fat milk to give shoppers plenty of choice. Some of the milk does not go into milk cartons, it goes into making other dairy produce, like yogurt or cheese. Does anyone know how cheese is made? I think it may, it's made by milk and butter. They get like a bucket and they stir it with like milk or that butter. They stir it and they make it all hard and all together it turns out as cheese. Cheddar cheese is normally only made for about seven months of the year, largely during the summer months. This is because fresh grass gives the cheddar a lovely sweet flavour. The milk is brought in tankers and is pasteurised and put into vats where it is heated. Friendly bacteria and rennet is then added. Rennet is an enzyme that allows the milk to set. It is left to set for a period of 40 to 45 minutes. The curd is then cut when the milk is firm and allowed to stand. The curds and whey are then stirred gently while the temperature is increased. The curds and whey are then pumped over to a special machine. The machine drains the whey. The cheese is weighed and milled. Salt is added. The cheese is cut into blocks. It then goes into the chill store for 24 hours where it is cooled down. After that, it is stored in a cool room to ripen. It won't leave the cheese store until the cheese grater is satisfied that it is the first class piece of cheddar.